Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So today I want to share with you a box of bamboo shoot crackers I just got from our family friend who just came back from Taiwan. So it looks really good. I'm going to sketch it in my art journal. So here I'm laying the box half open, showing the outside package cover and the inside crackers. I like the setup this way. And here is my current art journal spread. I'm going to finish this spread today. So because I always start drawing with a permanent ink pen directly, I kind of visualize the size and placement first with my eyes and a little bit of hand gesture. Now I'm drawing the cover of the box. It's a three-dimensional shape of a flat prism. And then the box underneath. Just pay attention to the angles of each side so we capture the three dimensions accurately. Then the rim. And now I'm starting to draw the package details. So these are the uh, Chinese characters, meaning bamboo shoot biscuits. The cover is really well designed. It's really adorable colorful and attractive. It's a really enjoyable drawing process. And just adding a tiny bit of simple hatching there to suggest the shadows coming from the, uh, the cover. And now I'm drawing this Kind of interesting image here on the plastic package. I think it's the imagery of the bamboo leaves. A little bit abstract. The name of the crackers. And now I'm drawing the crackers or biscuits seeing through the plastic package. It's a little bit tricky because um, a lot of them are being covered by the uh, by the red um, print on the plastic package. So the lines and forms and shadows are all kind of abstract. So instead of trying to draw biscuits, I'm just following the organic shapes, lines that I see. Adding some hatching mark to suggest the shadows. Now I'm ready to paint with my watercolors. So I'm wetting the area first with clear water. So the white package is not actually paper white. It had a little bit of yellowish tone, especially during daylight. And now I'm adding the first layer for the cookies. It's a mix of yellow ochre and a little bit of orange. Now I'm adding this vibrant orange color for the cover. And this bright medium yellow. Some more similar yellow colors here and there. So I'm painting all of the similar colors first. All of the yellows. And now I'm adding on the pinks. So it saves time to paint this way. Painting the similar colors first also helps to establish unity in the, uh, in the painting. Now a little bit of blues. And the dark shadow there. And then painting these characters adding another layer of more intense orange so there's more um, depths. Another polish for everything else so there's a bit more intensity. All right, I think I'm done painting the cover. Now I'm moving on to the second layer for the cookies. It's a mix of brown and orange. Adding dashes here and there. Third layer, 
or even darker brown by mixing in a little bit of ultramarine blue into the original brown. And now I'm just painting this red printed image or seal on top of the plastic package. And then a mix of ultramarine blue, green, and magenta for the shadow parts inside and outside of the box. And finally, painting the colors of the shadow using the same color that I use for the shadow of the box. And that's it. I don't want to overwork on it. I think it's already attractive enough. And here's the look of my art journal spread. It's almost done. So I made a cup of coffee to drink with some bamboo shoot cookies. And I will sketch it in my art journal first. So as always, I kind of envision the size and placement first on the paper before I start drawing directly with my pen. So now I'm drawing the outline of the square dish and then adding the pieces of biscuits inside, connecting one piece after another, and then drawing the rim of the little dish drawing these holes on the surface of the cookies okay and switching to a thinner pen to add some very simple hatching marks to suggest the uh, ups and downs on the surface of these biscuits because these are not flat there are some reliefs on the surface and now I'm just adding these florals on the corners of the dish some shadows underneath each piece okay so now I'm drawing my coffee cup so as I mentioned before in my previous videos when we're drawing stuff we don't have to fit everything inside the page so as you can see this cup it's going outside a little bit, and that's very interesting. And drawing a little bit hatching marks to suggest the dimension of the round cup. Very simple vertical hatchings. And now the first layer of watercolors, the lightest tone first. It's a mix of um, medium yellow and a little bit of orange. For the coffee, it's a mix of orange and brown. It's a white cup, so the shadow is a mix of ultramarine blue and purple. And this dish is kind of a green turquoise color. And now the second layer for the cookies is a mix of uh, orange and um, burnt sienna or brown. Just trying to suggest the reliefs using brush strokes. So now adding the second layer for the coffee, made a brush stroke and just push it with a little bit of water down so it's diluted in a nice transition there. And then painting the rim of the dish, the dark brown. So when we're looking at a, um, a white object that is three dimensional, there are at least two or three or even more light levels of shadows. And now I'm just adding the shadows underneath the biscuits. Just another layer to suggest the contrast of the relief better with an even darker brown. So I decided to paint this blue platform for my coffee and biscuits because this platform is really important to help um, the still life look more stable on the page. And then just painting the shadows very quickly. It's a mix of ultramarine blue and purple, wet on wet. All right, so I just finished another page spread in my art journal. It's really rewarding to see. I think this uh, page spread looked really powerful with the triangulation of the two cups and the chili oil. There's a really strong unity on this page spread with these three things linking everything together. And here are the details. 
So thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked my video, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe for weekly updates. I will see you very soon next time.